Okay, this is our condensing unit. It's uh, one half of your cooling system. It's the condensing coils, the outside coils. This is your low pressure refrigerant line piping. It's got the right kind of insulation on it. This is called your Schrader valve. Okay, look that up in the dictionary. But these are your refrigerant service valve port caps. And these should be anti-theft. Now we're up on the third floor here, so I don't know who's going to be squirreling up here to steal anything. And I get that, but they're supposed to have those little pink anti-theft straighter valve caps is what they're supposed to have. This unit is, this is new construction. It doesn't have that many miles on it. But it came off of the showroom floor. It came off of the out of the factory about two years ago. So anybody in the future that reads your data plate, they're going to think that this unit has a little more age on it than it actually does. This stuff is engineered on paper to last 20 years. It might last 35 years, but Las Vegas is going to give you 14. It's going to give you 14 years. This is a five-ton system. Is that right? Yes, it is. And the refrigerant. The medium that's in this piping is 410A, and right now, currently, 410A is acceptable. It's quote unquote the good stuff or whatever. Um, they're phasing it out. They're phasing it out in a few years. It's going to be uh, difficult to come by. Um, they're they're going to have plenty in inventory. They have plenty in stock. You're probably not going to have much trouble, if any at all, keeping this thing running if you maintain it properly. But just know that it does have a 410A refrigerant in it. You want to clean these coils. You want to service it. This is the electric service disconnect for the unit. This is the electric service disconnect right here. Okay. That's a good thing. We've got our, our electric service receptacle over here. So that way the um, technician can run a vacuum pump or... Come Bring in. a light. Come on in. See if I can get this thing open for us. Oh, this is so crazy. There we go. I've always to come up here. <laughs> well, come on. Just don't jump. Whoa. Okay, that's the GFCI. Now, what I'm going to do, and I'll admit that this is your exhaust for your heater, for your furnace. It doesn't come out hot, okay, but it's still exhaust all the same. And these are your air intake vents for your oh. attic. And I don't know if this exhaust is that close to your attic, if that's a good thing or not. Um, I'm going to you know, go home and do some homework. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> now, while I'm here, I'm just kind of collect some spares. Okay, this trim work around here should have Z-bar flashing underneath it. And I get it. You're not, you know, the rain's not going to come down here too much. It's real <laughs> close to the edge, but... But it should have had, I mean, if it was going to be textbook, you know, and that's not textbook. What is, what is Z-Bar? Is it like kind of like a little incline? Like? It's, it's, Z-Bar is flat behind the wall, uh -huh. and then it comes out to make the Z, and then it comes down over this. Oh. So any water that gets behind the wall will follow the Z-Bar flashing out instead of getting trapped all inside of here. Gotcha. We've got a nice dark roof. We've got continuous soffit vents. We've also got a uh, ridge vent up there. If you'll notice across this way, you're going to see some deflections in the roof. Um, the technical word for that would be something. Uh, I only use something when I see a problem. And I wish it was all smooth, like a plane of glass, like a pool table, like I, you know. I, I wish it was, but you're not. You're just not going to find that. Okay, so all roofs have some kind of deflection in them. So if you notice it, that's that's what.